What is the maximum value of the monetary policy multiplier? So if you remember, we have the IS curve as y is equal to alpha g a bar minus bi. So it is the combination of interest rate and output at which goods market is in equilibrium. Where alpha g is 1 upon 1 minus c into 1 minus t. Small c is MPC, small t is the marginal uh, propensity to tax, right? And uh, LM curve is m bar by p bar, which is ky minus hi. K is the uh, propensity of uh, the money demand, which is going to change due to income, right? Transactions demand for money. H is when the interest rate is going to change, how money demand is going to change. So this is negative, speculative demand for money. From the LM curve, I can write IS 1 upon H KY minus M bar by P and I can substitute it back into the IS curve. And uh, I will be getting this expression y equals to alpha g a bar minus b i, which is 1 upon h k y minus m bar by p bar. Right? So this is what. Uh, and once I will solve this, I'll be getting this expression. Y is equal to alpha g a bar minus b by h k y alpha g plus b by h alpha g m bar by b bar and so on. So after some bit of algebra, I should be getting till this particular point. Uh, I'll be getting to this particular point and uh, I can write gamma as alpha g upon 1 plus k b into h alpha g, right? And then I can write this expression uh, as y equals to gamma a bar plus gamma b by h m bar by p bar. I can write like this. And if I want to write the monetary policy multiplier, how do I do this? So let me just differentiate both the sides. D bar plus gamma B H D M bar by P bar. And since I want to find out how output is going to change when money supply is going to change or real money supply is going to change, I can put D A bar equals to zero. So dy by dm bar by p bar is equal to gamma b by h, gamma b by h. Now we'll take a step back and we will rewrite our IS equation and, and its slope. So you remember our IS equation was this, where alpha g was 1 upon 1 minus c into 1 minus t. So I can actually write uh, from this alpha g b i equals to alpha g a bar minus y and I can write everything in terms of i which is uh, a bar alpha g upon b alpha g minus 1 upon alpha g b y. Okay. So since you know that the uh, IS curve is drawn in IY space, so the slope of the IS curve is DI by DY. Is minus one upon B alpha G. Minus one upon B alpha G. Now what we'll now what we'll be doing is this. We have our ISLM equation. Supposedly, monetary uh, money supply has increased. So if money supply increases, you move from LM naught to LM one, no. And uh, the output which is going to increase is this thing. Let's say y one. But if you want to have the maximum impact maximum impact on 
of the monetary policy. So you actually need IS curve to be horizontal. No. So if IS curve become horizontal, let me call that as ISH. So in that case, in case of the LM is going to increase, what is going to be the increase in output till Y2? So do you understand this? And if the IS curve is horizontal, it means that the slope of the IS curve is infinite. The slope of the IS curve should be zero, right? Slope of the IS curve should be zero. And when is the slope of the IS curve zero? When alpha G is going to go towards infinity, right? When alpha G is going to go towards infinity, then only the slope of the IS curve is going to be zero. Yes, it is. Okay. Now, we have this gamma, which is equal to alpha G and all this. And we have already derived what is the monetary policy multiplier. That is dy upon dm bar by p bar. Right? So what is it that we have said? We have said it is gamma b by h. So basically, I can write in, in terms of gamma, in place of gamma, I can write this one alpha g upon 1 plus k b by h alpha g into b by h. No? Now, I want alpha g to go towards 0. Oh, sorry, to go towards infinity. So if you put alpha g to infinity, what will happen? You will have, you will have infinity in the numerator and infinity in the denominator. So it is an indeterminate form. You have to, you can use L'Hopital's rule. So when you use L'Hopital's rule, so you differentiate numerator with, with, with respect to alpha g and denominator with respect to alpha g. So what do you do? What will what will you get when you differentiate numerator with, uh, with respect to alpha g? What? What about the denominator? K into B by H. This is what you're going to get. Into B by H. Right? This will get cancelled and you will have 1 by k. So this is going to be the maximum value of the monetary policy multiplier. So the main idea is that you have to understand that monetary policy is going to be extremely effective if IS curve is flatter. And this is going to be the maximum value of the monetary policy multiplier. I hope it was useful to you. Thank you, Bita.